I'm here at Oncosec's office in San Diego, California to demonstrate how the Immunopulse technology works. This is a method for generating a whole body immune response using local injection therapy. I'm going to show you how the technology works by injecting and electroporating the company CEO, Dan O'Connor. After the power cord has been connected, reach the rear of the device and power on the system. After our power is on, the unit will go through a self-check to verify that everything's functioning properly. The user display explains exactly what the next steps are. This user display currently tells you to go ahead and connect the foot switch. The red dot on the cable tells you to align the red dot on the face of the generator. After the foot switch is connected, the generator will tell you what the next step is. The next step is to attach the applicator. The system then tells you exactly what type of model is being used. Once the applicator model has been recognized, you press the ready button. Once you press the ready button, then the applicator is ready for therapy. So the process of using IL-12 with electroporation is pretty straightforward. We have a simple syringe. Typically this has been filled by my pharmacist with the right amount of medicine for the patient's tumor and numbered for the, for the tumor. And what you do is you simply insert this into the tumor directly and you inject the fluid. And then you use this electroporation device, which is an array of six electrodes. And they come out like this. You can extend how far they go. So if somebody has a tumor that's a little bit deeper to the skin, you would want to extend it further. If somebody has a superficial tumor, you can adjust it to make it a little more superficial, and that way you only go as far as you need to go. The electroporation device is activated by a foot pedal, which is under the table here. I'll just put my foot on it. The pulses will be given, and that causes the plasmid to go be taken up by the tumor. And then the tumor will express whatever is on that plasmid for about a week at a time. So first, I'm going to look at the tumor site. Dan, where's your tumor? Um. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. I okay. see. We're going to obliterate and uh, we're going to treat this mole. Normally, this would be melanoma, but for demonstration, we'll use a mole right here. So I'll sterilize the area locally. Really easy. And then I'll take my injection needle, bevel up. You will inject it into the tumor, right under the skin. Pull back a little bit, as usual, to make sure you're not in the blood vessel, and you inject the volume here. Here I'm using one cc, which is typically would be what we'd use for a smallish tumor. Dr. Al-Ghazi, um, you know, what we just put in was a saline solution, but um, what, what normally would you do in the normal procedure? Normally we have clear solution that has plasmid for IL-12. It's a circular piece of DNA. And so once that's taken up by the cell, the tumor itself will start to make IL-12 and express it just in the local tumor microenvironment. That will cause a strong inflammatory response, which will stimulate an immune response against the tumor. It will prime the tumor for response to things like PD-1 antibodies, but just in the tumor space. So plasmids would be um, inserted by the syringe in and around the tumor. Right. And, and so the plasmids then would be taken up by the cells after you use the device that basically causes the cells to accept the plasmid, and then the plasmid integrates into the, the cell and causes the cell to make IL-12. Is that essentially how it works? What happens is the cells take up the plasmid. There's, there's holes made in the cell membrane by the electroporation. The cell takes up the plasmid, and then there's what's called a promoter on that circular DNA, and it will make IL-12. And, and why is having the cell make IL-12 for you important? And how long does the cell actually make IL-12? We've given cytokines by vein where it's administered to the entire body. But it's not a very efficient way to do things. It's very toxic. People get very sick when you do that. And not much medicine is actually delivered into the tumor. I used to get calls at 2 in the morning for people getting cytokines IV because they got very sick. Here, we're getting high levels of cytokine in the tumor microenvironment and very minimal exposure in the rest of the body. And so what happens is we'll do the electroporation, and the tumor will express IL-12 right where it's needed for about a week at a time. Thank you. The process is extremely simple. I usually advise patients that you'll feel the pulses, but I've electroporated myself, and it's usually not a big deal. You extend the needles as much as you need, and then you put them around the area you injected in the tumor, like so, and then you'll 
get them just as deep as you need them. I'll use my foot pedal to activate the electroporation device. So Dr. Algazi just um, administered the electroporation after he put in the plasmas in and around my mole, which was um, you know, situated to look like a tumor. Um, I can tell you, although pain is subjective, that that um, did not hurt. It's an odd sensation. Probably what hurt more was the needle going in and around the mole area, um, but uh, less the, um, the actual delivery of energy in and around the mole.